Thanks. Sir. I'm here at the Walhalla Hotel with Matt. How are you, Matt? Well, I'm very good, thank you. What's your favourite meal at the Walhalla Hotel? What would you recommend? Cheeseburger Parma. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger Parma? Cheeseburger Parma. That's sign the one to go. Sign me up for one of those. Does it come big with chips? Chips, salad and a big cheeseburger. Welcome to Walhalla, a former gold mining town, a movie set for Liam Neeson movie, and what has one of the scariest ghost tours in the world. All right, I'm puffing a little bit because you can't see this yet, but I'll show you later, or I may have shown you earlier. But this, um, in Walhalla, it's in a valley of very steep hills. And I just thought I would take you up to show you, you'll be able to see on this side here, if um, we go this way, now you'll be able to see down there, down that side, is the town. Um, so I've just walked up that hill to give you this view along this path. And there's some beautiful walking tracks here. But we're not here to, to look at the walking tracks. We're here to talk about how do you get really good um, sales. And there's some simple things that people just overlook. Most businesses I go to, they overlook and don't do this. Um, so I just wanted to, to talk about that. So I'm just at the top of the hill here. I just wanted to show you where the walking tracks are. So you can go this way or you can go back that way. But we're going to go down the hill here and down the stairs back into the, the town. And what we're talking about is, if I don't fall down and break my neck, is sales. And... Whilst a lot of people struggle with sales, part of that reason is because they don't really focus on things that make sales a lot easier. And I'll relay this, um, an example of uh, a young businessman I was working with. He had a business and he was talking about how he, um, he had business cards and when he was at trade shows and things like that, the kids would always take the business cards. And I told, said to him, I said, get rid of your business cards. You don't need them. I just wanted to stop and show you. It's a little bit difficult with my cameraman to, to take these tight turns. So you can see here, if I go down this path, and then I go down this path here, if I keep going this way, and then I've got to go all the way down here. So I'm going to cut this bit in just to show you the town. Um, and I'll flick this around in a minute so you can see the other side. When we're up in the path before, this is we're halfway down. That's how steep the hill is here, uh, where the town is. So you've got the town right at the bottom. There's a river that runs through. We'll show you that later. But um, I just wanted to give you that, that view. It's, it's quite fabulous here, when, especially when you look out and you see all these beautiful hills. So continuing on from what I was saying before, I said get rid of the business cards. What you do is when you're at the trade shows or at a market and people come up to you, if they're interested, you say to them, they're interested, they're looking at things, but they haven't actually you know, bought anything. Say to them, you know, if you're, if you're interested, what I can do is I can grab your name and uh, number and email, and I promise no, no spam, but you know, every you know, couple of months or on special days, such as Father's Day and Mother's Day, we have specials that we send out. And so if it's, if it's a value to you, and you, um, I can send you details of what's going on so you can um, purchase, you know, so you've got access to those, those specials that we've got on, if, that, if that's okay. And I said to do that, get rid of the business cards and do that instead. So you can see the mosaic hall just there, we went past that. But so he actually did that, he got rid of business cards. The reason for doing what I was doing was, as I said to him, I said, if they, you've offered value there, and if they give you your email, or give you their email, I should say, if they give you their email, their contact details, they are a customer. They're just not one yet. And all you need to do is stay in touch, offer value, and they will purchase from you. And he found as a result, his sales improved significantly. Just that little system put in place to help actually create those sales. And where we are now, <laughs> we've just come back, as you can see, back to the rotunda where we saw at the start. Um, and that's that simple system. You want to put those little, system, little simple systems in place 
so that you can um, maximize the sales. Now there's a lot in Walhalla to see, but I'm not gonna do that in this video, but I did wanna give you a quick view of what's here. So we've got the rotunda, there's the old fire station there that you can see that straddles the river. Um, there's more, there's, there's so many more old, beautiful villa, um, uh, buildings out that way. Um, you come through and then as you circle around, you can see up here, you've got just the hills. And as I was talking about before, it's in this nice, beautiful valley and it's just so peaceful and quiet. And I'm sure uh, my camera is annoying people because it's quite loud. And this is the um, the Star Hotel, uh, which is has been here for a long time. It's gone through a number of iterations. Um, and inside, it's one of the nicest hotels I've, I've ever been in. I did an interview with the owner, Michael Linney, some time ago. Um, fabulous guy, wonderful hotel. If you ever get the chance to stay there, I would check it out. Um, and then you can see over here, just look at the hillscape. It's quite stunning and it's so still. There's a bit of cloud cover today, but it's just really, really still. Uh, and then we come back here to the rotunda. You've got the creek going through here uh, and just give you this, this view of, of Walhalla. And as we go through, we've got the river that goes down there underneath the, the old fire um, station and the road walks through here. Um, I'll probably get it off the road, although there's not that much traffic here. <laughs> but it is a really, really peaceful location. Obviously, there's a wall here to stop you falling in. And just when you are thinking about sales, it's it's one of those things where you've got the opportunity to, um, you know, there's so many ways that you can actually reach out to customers and connect with them. Uh, there are referral systems and things like that. And we'll talk a lot about that in some of these other videos, but I really wanted to highlight for you to, um, to think about that. What the, that business owner did, check out the fire station. I'm just gonna come back this way so you'll be able to get a better view of it. This is the fire station. It's cool. When it's open, there's really some really good stuff in there. Um, I'll just come this way. As I'm going through here, there's a park over this side here. But all he did was stop using business cards um, and ask people for their contact details. And that simple thing, if they give you their details, if they say, here's my number, um, they're a future customer. So really think about that. It's not a difficult system to have. You're obviously going to have a, a um, CRM to manage that, but that's not difficult. And from there, Look at this park, isn't that cool? A little duck down there too. <laughs> um, so you can actually then implement a way of staying in contact and adding value. And he doubled his sales by doing that. Just doubled his sales by asking for their contact details and saying, you know, here, I've got some value for you. You remember at the start, I mentioned how Walhalla has one of the scariest ghost tours in the world. Well, if we come around this way, here it is. Got the Walhalla Ghost Tours nighttime guided tour by lantern light. This is by lantern light. Um, so the tours operate here, experience the dark side of Walhalla's history. And there's a lot of ghost stories here, um, especially given there's a lot of night sounds and things like that. And there's a cemetery that is very old. Uh, it's something to be really cool to check out. I haven't done the ghost tour yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it. It's gonna be great. Now, I said I wasn't gonna do this. This is a fire station. Um, and if you come through here, you can see that's the Star Hotel over there and, and the rotunda in the, the background. But I'm going to come around this way and I'm just going to give you a sneak peek of some of the city. Now it goes quite far down this way, but if we, we come down here, and I've got to be careful because I've got um, cars coming. But if you have a look down here and then it goes around the corner where that white bridge is down further down there is, um, is more of the town. There's the, the local pub down there as well. Uh, so there's some really cool spots here. I know they've got the Walhalla Witchery Cafe and I've met the owner there and, and had a, an interview and, uh, with him. Fantastic guy, fantastic family, doing wonderful things here in, in Walhalla. And um, as you can see, I'm on the road, so I'm not gonna trip over for those who've seen other videos, but check down here, they're building stuff over there, something new. Um, but if you look over here, I don't know if you can see up the hill, but they've got, um, this is how steep it is. You get really fit in Walhalla going up and down the hills. Um, but if we come here, you can see this is the old Mechanics Institute and Free Library. So that's there. And then, yeah, just down there, that cafe there is a Walhalla Witchery, which is really cool inside. They've got so many cool little trinkets and stuff like that, um, little statues. It's a, it's a fantastic um, place uh, to have a coffee and, and um, enjoy. So, and here, 
there's, there's, you can actually go down in the mines as well. So we'll do a video later on about that um, in, the, in the mines. Um, yeah, so here's a sneak peek of, of Walhalla. It's not all of Valhalla, there's, there's tons and tons more here, but I just want to give you a little sneak peek because we've got some other stuff coming as well. I'm walking back to the pub because I'm here with some friends and they all left me <laughs> while I did filming. They've, they've headed down to the pub in Walhalla, but as I'm walking back, there's just so many things I want to show you and share with you because it's so beautiful. If you look here, we've got, we've got these, you know, these waterfalls down here that are you know, just the, the river running through the rocks is just so beautiful. Um, and this river goes all the way through Walhalla, so I can imagine, you know, for the people that live here, there are, there are people that live here, um, to have that sound of that water running through uh, it, all day and night um, would just be so peaceful and, and relaxing to enjoy. But I just wanted to take this moment to show you this little part of Walhalla with these streams or this stream running through. I've mentioned the Walhalla pub a couple of times, so I wanted to show you where the pub is. So I'm just gonna swing around here. Uh, I came from that direction and here it is. Without further ado, the Walhalla Hotel. We can get great meals. It's booked out, need to book in advance. Um, and as you can see, the house is up in the hill there. Looks fabulous. And if we come around this way, down that road, which you can't see, and I'm not going to show in this video. We'll do that as another video, a separate video. We've got the Walhalla Goldfields train railway line, if I can say that. Uh, so we're excited. We're going on that tonight. We're going to have dinner down at the Good Shed and then go on the night train ride. So hopefully there's no ghosts because I don't want to be scared. Um, but it's going to be really exciting. And we'll do that as a separate video with a separate topic. And thank you for joining me here in Walhalla, one of the scariest places to come and visit. Got some people here excited. You going to go to the pub tonight? No, we got on the train. Are oh, you on the train? We're on the train as well. Train first. Train first. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've been to the pub before. Meals are fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We're heading down to the Good Shed for dinner, and then we're going to go on the train at the eight o'clock one. Okay. No. Awesome. Yeah. Great night. You. Right? You too. As you can see, people here are so friendly in Walhalla. So I'm here with Matt and he wants to see how fast my cameraman can go. Is that right? Good, that's it. Okay, here we go. I don't think I can get away. I'm gonna go back now. My cameraman's good. <laughs> Matt tried to take hold of it, he didn't get quite get it. No, I wasn't going to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>